your Aurora Teaching Artist, and I'm here to let you know that there are plenty of theater games and activities that you can do at home with your families. Can't think of anything we've done in class? Here's an idea. Circle Stories. Now, I recommend Circle Stories for age groups starting in fourth grade all the way up to grandmas and grandpas. Yes, you can do theater with your grandma. It's actually really fun. This game is really fun to do with the entire family. Want to know how to play? Here are some instructions. The goal is to create an original story while only contributing one word at a time. To begin, you and your family will sit in a circle. These smiley faces represent you and your family in your circle. You only get to add one word at a time when it is your turn. And when you want the sentence to end, just add appropriate punctuation. Here is an example. Once there was a girl named Miranda, period. She was very small, like a mouse, period, and so forth, until you come up with a proper conclusion. Something you will realize is that the story won't always go the way you wanted it to go, and your family members in the circle aren't always going to add a word that you were thinking or that you wanted them to add, which makes things a little bit tricky. So that brings me to my next question. How in the world is it possible to make your story successful? Using a skill that is very important in acting, listening. It is important to listen in order to think and respond appropriately and quickly and so that you have a fluid story that makes sense. When you and your family finish your story, try to do a recap of everything that happened in the story. Talk about the conflict, the relationships, character, scenery, and all. After you do your discussion, think about trying to do another circle story and consider the one that you've already done your practice round. Maybe this one will be a little better, trust me. Once you have completed your new story, talk about it with your family. After you finish your discussion, I challenge you to write it down as a play using characters, dialogue, setting, etc. And this may take an evening, this may take a day or two, but when you finish writing, come back together with your family and read your play aloud. And then the fun challenge, act it out with your family. Oh, I can just see you now in the kitchen using mixing bowls for hats and spoons for magic wands, putting on your play for your dog and for your cat who's paying you no attention whatsoever. That was personal. This one circle story can turn into a project that sparks your creativity, helping you become a better listener, think and respond quickly, improve teamwork skills, practice writing, and overall take your acting skills to the next level. I wish I could see what you come up with. Have fun and stay safe and wash your hands. That's important. See ya.